We're all feeling it right now. The cost of the weekly shop is increasing. Energy bills are rising. Rents and mortgages are up. Everything is stretched, for some to impossible lengths. But this isn't just a cost of living crisis. This is a cost of Westminster crisis. Here, the Tories and Labour are focused only on each other, leaving people like us to pay for the chaos that they created with Brexit and all the rest of it. The fact is, Keir Starmer's Labour shows no desire whatsoever to reverse the cruel and damaging Tory policies that got us into this mess. Scrapping pledge after pledge, they've thrown their principles to the wind and every broken pledge is a kick in the teeth to children, families and communities all over Scotland. But in the Scottish Parliament, we have a government showing that it's on the side of the people it serves. With the limited powers at our disposal, the SNP is helping 300,000 children with more than £1,000 a year through the Scottish Child Payment, increasing access to free childcare, and spending over £700 million to counter the impact of Westminster welfare cuts. We're doing all we can to help families as prices soar, and we'll continue to do so. But we could do so much more. Independent European countries of Scotland's size are wealthier and fairer than the UK. With all of our resources, with all of our talent, why not Scotland? With the full powers of independence, we can build a country that reflects the values, aspirations and hopes of our people. Not a country held back by Westminster governments we didn't vote for. Westminster is broken. It offers no alternative to the suffering people are facing. So while Labour scrap pledge after pledge, this is my pledge to you. The SNP and the government I lead will always be on your side. At a time when we deserve real change, the Tories and Labour simply offer more of the same at Westminster. In the Scottish Parliament, we will give our all to protect you from the worst of their cruel and heartless policies. We will be resolute in keeping you and Scotland on course for a better future as an independent nation.